Uh, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into uh, general laws of exponents and look at the proof for this one, a to the power of x minus y, and show that it equals to a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y. Basically, in my last video, I went over this one uh, right here, which is a to the uh, x plus y equals ax times ay. And I'm, in this video, I'll prove this one right here. Basically, the general laws of exponents, I'll go over them quickly right now. If x and y are, are real numbers and a is greater than zero, then we have these four laws. Uh, I explained this, this one already, these two. Basically, the third one is a to the power of x, um, and then in bracket, a to the power of, oh, and it's the power of y. It's the same thing as writing a to the power of x, y. I'll prove these in later videos. And this one, a, a b to the power of x equals to ax uh, and times b to the power of x. And before I get to the proof for this one right here, I'm going to quickly recall from my previous video these uh, laws of exponents for the base um, base e, which is an exponential function. So this one is general, which is base a could be anything greater than zero. So basically, e to the uh, x plus y equals e to x times e y. If you have a minus, you divide. Same thing as these general ones. And then if you have this one, e to the power of x, uh, then bracket r equals e to the power of r x. Basically, same thing as this, these three right here. So also on a recall this definition, I'll use this in the proof. Um, this, watch my earlier video on general of general exponential functions. On this one, a to the power of x equals e x ln a right here. So let's get to the proof. Yeah, so the proof I'll just write this down. Uh, a to the power of x minus y. This is gonna be similar to proof. Of the very similar proof to the one I did in my last video on a to the x plus y. So this is gonna be equal to ax divided by ay. So I'll prove this right now. Basically to prove this we use this definition right here and we could write a to the power of x minus y at using this definition right here which is gonna be um, a to the power of, I mean not a, e. Yeah, e to the power of, and here we replace this x right here with x minus y. So you go x minus y. We write it exactly how this looks but replacing the x with x minus y. So we have ln a right here. So we have this part right here and then we can multiply this inside. So we go e to the power of x ln a minus y ln a. And now we could use our law of exponents for the uh, base of uh, exponential function right here. And then we could basically use this one which is uh, subtraction x minus y then divide it. And this is a subtraction. So this part right here would just equal to e to the x ln a and then divided by e to the y ln a right here. And now this equals to basically uh, if we recall this definition again this is the exact same thing as the definition. This e x ln a that's just a to the x. So this equals a to the x right here. And now this is dividing by e to the e yeah, and the bottom uh, basically e to the y ln a. That's the same thing as uh, this right here, but with a uh, y instead of an x. So this just equals to a to the y right here. And this basically proves this right over here. And this is, again, bring this over here. This is a to the x minus y. And there is our proof right there. So anyways, uh, hopefully you'll learn from this video. And uh, like always, you can download these notes in the links below these ones over here and thanks for watching and stay tuned for our later videos and i'll go over these ones anyways thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution